out there actually that will pray for healing for people and they say God bless you and leave when the most important thing is for your soul to belong to God you know it might benefit you a little bit for your back to be healed and all pain to be taken away if we want you to be healed most importantly we want your soul to go to heaven and be with him for a time amen amen right? right so our emphasis is never on healing it is one thing that we want to What you're gonna do? We speak to his body right now. We command healing. Back be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bones be healed. Vertebrae be healed. Spine be healed. Oh God, I pray that all bulging discs would be healed right now. Neck and spine be healed in the name of Jesus. I speak to the neck and spine. I command you to be healed right now. All pain get out and go. We bind every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus Christ. I command you to leave right now. All spirits of Pain, spirits of infirmity, get out right now. Go into the abyss in the name of Jesus Christ. We command you to go neck and spine and back. Be healed right now. We command healing to the nerves. We command healing to the muscles, tendons, ligaments, joints, cartilage, and vertebrae. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Down to the cells and molecular structure. We command you to be healed, made whole, restored, and rejuvenated. In Jesus' name, all pain go right now. All pain go right now. Ankles be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. Legs be healed right now. In the name of Jesus. We pray supernatural restoration and boldness in the name of Jesus Christ. Legs and ankles be healed. Cartilage be healed. Joints be healed right now. Blood cells, blood vessels, capillaries, arteries, veins be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. DNA be restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Command healing to the legs, ankles, knees, and all joints. All pain go right now. Every spirit of infirmity, get out. Spirits of pain, get out right now. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray that you would break all addiction in this man's life. And all addictions to drugs, methadone, every spirit of addiction, leave right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We break the power of witchcraft over his life. You to your body. So what exactly is part of your body that you're you my friend if I woke up your baby I'm sorry God bless you Jesus is king but see we want you to have hope we're gonna use the application because we want to reach as many people as possible now the name of it is the middle of the day I declare the fire of God we love you very much. My heart is for you. I want you to know the salvation of the, the Lord. I'm out of his life. Choose to say who you will serve. I'm out of his life right now. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and you have mercy unto our God. For he will abundantly pardon. God has told us in his word that our thoughts and our ways are not his. He has a different plan for our life. He wants us to go a particular direction. Right now. And when we do not follow the leading of God and we go our own way, we find ourselves in situations of him. And I allowed. Are you sure? Why are you so angry, bro? Come over here and talk to me. Come over here and talk to me. You're just going to yell at me from across the street. I don't even understand anything you're saying. You're going to be on something. 
Oz with his own. Put it over there, this one. Right now, I can fix my hand. I asked him for a job and he was sending me. God and Lucifer are Okay, so the bucks of the problem is you're mad at God that he put the tree there, right? I need your delivery. Set me free. Right now, I command every wicked spirit to come out right now. I can't hear you. Out of the soul. Come over here and talk. Ask yourself. Soulmate. Lucifer. Pray God will bring you a soulmate, brother. Come out. God wants to give you the desires of your heart if you live a life pleasing unto Him. Come over here and have a conversation instead of yelling at me from across the way, please. Go, go, my friend down here. Come out, come out, come out. Are you, are you staying here? I can't. Come out. Right here, my friend. Right here. He doesn't believe what the scientists say. But we don't believe what the Bible says, even though it's been proven to be true time and time again. I get it, that's your fucking girl. Okay, just down the road, okay? Peace, just calm down. Fuck you! I love yo, yo, yo! Bridget! So Bridget! Oh, ass! Bridget! Don't! Don't do that! Fuck! I would never disrespect you that way. I would never disrespect. Why? Because I'm telling you that I love you? Because I'm telling you that I love you? Is there anything I can pray for you about? I want you to understand. No, 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 no. No. Hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. The only reason, look at me. Look at me. The only reason, the only reason you feel comfortable spitting on me is because you know I'm not going to do anything bad. That's the problem, right? Peace, 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 peace. Father God, we pray for a spirit of peace to move out of here right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for a spirit of peace on the street right now. Hey, 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 I bind every spirit of violence right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Hey, peace, brother, peace. Does anybody have a wet wipe? He spit all over my face, so I would like to wipe myself off. Thank you. I got him. You see, the truth is, my friends, we're out here trying to help people. But there's a demon inside of those who would not want to see the light of Jesus shine. You okay? The only reason why people feel the freedom and liberty to spit on us, to attack us, is because they know we will not retaliate. I'm out here because I love you and I care about you. I want you to be healed. Thank you so much. Man does not live by bread alone, the Bible says, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, I know you're staying in the Megan Maxwell house or you're around the Megan Maxwell house and you have an opportunity to hear the word of God. The followers mission is right there. Uh, an amazing ministry that has been reaching out for a long time. We're just down the road by uh, Regent Park. And you're welcome to, to draw closer to Jesus. You're welcome. But right now, we can pray for you. We can pray for you. We're just people that love Jesus. We're just people that have been touched by Jesus. And you can have a burger for free. You may not want the burger. But whatever's causing the anger inside of you, listen to me. Don't be angry against God. Don't be angry against preachers. Don't be angry about against people that are trying to give good things to you. I know that there's been a lot of hurt in the past and people have disappointed you. I get it. I know that there's been a lot of broken relationships in your life. I get it. And a lot of people in high positions have let you down. I get it. I get it. Stop I'm here to tell you today that God will not let you down.
see, God is so good, but hell is not good. You see, in hell, you're not going to have your physical needs, needs met. See, all of that stuff is going to be out the window. In hell, you're not going to have your spiritual needs met. That's going to be out the window. This is a place. Earth is a place where God is saying, I can still reach out to the broken. I can still heal the brokenhearted. God is saying, come unto me, all of you that labor. This is the day that the Lord has made. It's not too late for you. I know that you might be 60 years old and you might be saying it's too late for me. No, it's not. You can start your life all over again starting today. Today is the day. Listen, if you would call on the name of the Lord today and say, Jesus, come into my life. Listen, whoever you are, it doesn't have to be after my specific words. But if you can humble yourself and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. I need you. I'm desiring help. I'm, I need your deliverance. I need your healing. Lord God, the same way that these guys are offering burgers, I need your help right now. Come into my life. Come into my life. Come into my life. Listen, don't leave without a prayer. Don't leave without a prayer. Ask the Lord right now. Even right now, this place right now is holy ground. And I just declare that the healing power of God is here. Right now, the healing power of God is here. We have people over there praying for people. We have another brother, Philip, comment, Philip uh, praying for somebody. Don't leave without a prayer. Stay. Wait up in line. Listen, if it was something else, some, if you were going to go to a hospital, you would wait for a doctor to touch you. Listen, God is the doctor. Jesus is the doctor. And he wants to touch you, not just with a burger, but with the power of the Holy Ghost. Whoever you are, you can be full of curses on the inside. Jesus can break the curse. You can be bound with chains, but Jesus will break the chain. Whatever the issue is, God can fix your issue. See the power of God manifested you know uh, if, if you don't see some things happen right away listen there's many factors but I always blame myself my lack of faith so so listen I, I pray for more faith in myself I've seen God deliver I've seen God heal but I need more faith sometimes too so please pray for this team that the power of God would manifest even more powerfully than I have ever seen because God wants to be glorified so we need you to support us in prayer. So we're gonna uh, carry on. Philip, did you wanna say anything quickly? Yeah, I just wanna say, you know, when it comes to deliverance too, we have to always be wise. There's a lot of people that reach out to me with people on the, you know, in videos in the past, they've seen where people would get very hostile, like why don't you just bind the demons in the name of Jesus? We have to be wise, let the Holy Spirit lead us. If we just cast demons out of people foolishly, we don't really understand the implications that it might have. Those demons can come back worse even. We don't want to leave them in a worse state than they were before. So pray for us to have greater faith for deliverance, but pray for us to also have wisdom, to be led of the Holy Spirit, to pray for deliverance when we feel led, and, uh, and just to pray for uh, you know peace in their life uh, until they surrender their heart to God. So uh, if you remember in the book of Acts, the, the young girl with the spirit of python followed Paul around for quite some time before he cast the demon out of her. So we always have to be uh, led by the Lord in everything that we do. There's demons that are manifesting in these in these areas, and uh, we want to reach them with the gospel. God has to break down those walls, open up their hearts so they can receive His word. So pray that the stony the stony edges of their heart, that fallow ground, would be broken up so that seeds can be planted, truly planted. A lot of these people they wanna they wanna get hostile and crazy because they know we're not gonna do anything back, right? Pray for them to find peace in their life because deep down they're just hurting and that's really it. Uh, we thank you guys for supporting Christ Forgiveness Ministries. Uh, thank you for uh, for watching along on Torch of Christ Ministries. If you haven't subscribed to that, definitely check it out. And we continue moving through Toronto over the next few days. Uh, thank you to these guys who are helping out with the media and it takes a team effort. There's so many people that are involved. We love you guys. Can't say that enough. We love you. Thank you for your support. This is a body of believers and uh, God is doing something. Not just here in Toronto, but all around the world. Join the movement. All right? Don't miss out. God has a plan for your life too. Get out there. God bless you. You can do this. Amen. So I did lots of Raise the dead over the eyes of the blind, cast out demons through us, through our laying on of hands, and through the declaration of your name, Jesus Christ. Praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.
All right, guys. So um, we got you are accountable for before the before the judgment seat of Christ. Now maybe you're saying today there's nothing different between you and the pharmacy. You're just a street pharmacist. Maybe that's your belief. But I'm here to tell you today, because I live at this corner, I see the bondage that the drugs is doing to the average person on this block. And I believe God is not pleased with the bondage that many of the people here are going through. Now I know many of you today are probably saying, I need those drugs. But you don't need those drugs. You feel you need those drugs because you became addicted to these drugs. What were you doing as a young child without the drugs? Now maybe you're saying, well, I, you don't know my life. I don't know. Maybe you were traumatized. Maybe you were abused. Listen to me. I've been through trauma as well. I know the struggles. People are shaking their heads. What are you doing for the poor? What are you doing for those who are struggling? Nothing. Nothing. What are you doing? I want to know. Tell me. I'm not a fool. God, the Bible says the fool has said in their heart there's no God. I'm not the fool. Why is it that when someone comes and tries to preach the good news of Jesus, when a reggae artist said, murderer, you kill like today, but you cannot kill like tomorrow. You mean sides must have hollow. If you are convicted of your sin, Jesus Christ can forgive you. He can forgive the murderer. Jesus can forgive the murderer. Jesus can forgive the thief. I was a murderer. I was a murderer. I murdered my own, my own child when I was 15 years old. It's called an abortion. I was a murderer. And God forgave me. I was a drug dealer. But God forgave me. I was a thief. But God forgave me. Jesus can forgive the thief. There was a thief on the cross, and Jesus forgave. He said, this day, you'll be with me in paradise. This day, this day, listen to me. If you're a murderer, a thief, an adulterer, this day God can forgive you. But you need to make a change. You need to be willing to say, look, I was wrong. Don't run away from God. Don't run away from God. If I was blasting hip-hop dance hall music right now, there would be a party on the street. Nobody would try to shut me down. But the moment that somebody talks the truth and addresses some wicked spirits up in this place, all of a sudden everybody's up in arms. I'll tell you why. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood. So my battle is not against you. I don't hate anybody. I don't hate the drug dealer and I don't hate the drug addict. I don't hate the homosexual and I don't hate the prostitute or the pimp. I don't hate anybody. God doesn't hate you. He's simply saying, give it up. Give up the lifestyle and turn to Jesus Christ. Philip, I'm going to share a few words, brother. This is Philip, all the way from the United States. We got chocolate bars and candy. Uh, not candy. We got chocolate bars and, and, and uh, water. Free water, free chocolate bars for anybody. God bless you. It's warmed up a bit since this morning, huh? It's cold in Canada. I'm from the United States. I'm from the South. It stays warm. I want you to understand, my friends, that hell is a very hot place, and we don't want you to go there. We want you to live and reign with Jesus forever. We want you to have life and life more abundantly. We want the best for you. We want the best for these little ones, right? And so we pray for our future generations. What a broken world we live in, though, where our, our political systems, our governments, our education systems have taken control over what we can teach our children, what we can't teach our children, and they've taken it on as a responsibility to raise our children for us. It's probably because we're not doing a good enough job on our own. When a people turn away from God and we become rebellious, sin enters. We're born into sin, 
But when we, when we run headlong into rebellion, we see it begin to eat us up. And I see on this screen nothing but flagrant, willful, habitual sin that has eaten us up to the core. We see the spiritual decay manifested in the physical realm and addiction, prostitution, pimping. It's heartbreaking, my friends. I'm not out here to condemn you. The Bible says that we're all condemned in our sin already. But I'm here to offer you a message of hope that Jesus is the light in your darkness. Some of you may not see a way out of the misery that's your day-to-day -day existence. Some of you love living in your misery. Believe it or not, sometimes we love our demons. We love the darkness that dwells in us. We relish in wickedness. And I pray that's not you today. But we want to give you an outlet, an escape from that sin. You can't earn your way out of this pit. God bless you. Get yourself a water and a granola bar, sir. You can't climb out of that pit. I've been at the bottom of the pit. I know what it's like to hurt. I know what pain feels like. I know what the wounds of the soul feel like. In so many broken relationships in life. And I cried out to God and he began to restore me. I came to the end of myself. I realized I was at the bottom of the pit and I could not make it out on my own strength. And finally I got to a place where God has been waiting for me to get to all, the whole time. I came to the end of myself. I said, God, I can't do it. And I gave up. My friends, some of you just need to give up. Not on your life, but give up on trying to do it in your own strength. Give up on trying to make it through this life in the striving of the flesh and just surrender to God. And let Him begin to work in you and through you in a way that only...